Hello and welcome back to Brock's Basement. This is going to be my comic book pull list for the week of December 13th, 2023. Uh, it's a decent sized DC week um, and a fairly sized, big, or decent sized week for me uh, to begin with. Not a lot of variants, but a lot of regular issues this week. So let's get into it. First up we have, oh, slippery, uh, Action Comics number 1060. Um, I'm not caught up with action. Um, I did get it put on my DC Infinite to start uh catching up a bit i have been using dc infinite a lot more to catch up on um a fair amount of titles and i've been doing really well so far this i've hit over 200 uh books that i've gotten caught up with uh just in this year alone so at least the hundred dollars is only it's only 50 cents a digital issue for reading it so yeah but uh hey what can you do uh, i'm still reading for the rest of the year so we'll see how much higher i can get that amount if I can get it down to like 33 cents a book, um, maybe. We'll see. But I've been kind of getting caught up. I'm caught up with uh, Batman, sh the Shadow War stuff, where Batman and Robin and Deathstroke Inc. crossed over. So I got through that stuff. So, But we're back to the pull list. Next up is The, alterna the Alternates. Um, this is technically from the world of Minor Threats, The Alternates. Um, but I put it under A because it's the bigger title. I've enjoyed it for the most part. Um, I think this is the last issue in the miniseries. Um, I've enjoyed it for the most part. I think Patton Oswalt's world is pretty cool, but I don't know if it's a um, if I want to swim around in that universe um, anymore. Uh, do I mean it's fine, it's good. Maybe the next one will be great, but I'm probably going to take a little break from uh, the Minor Threats universe uh, currently. But uh, yeah, that doesn't mean it's not bad. It's not good. It's there's a lot of them. Uh, next up is a alternate facsimile um and this is from the dc vault um back when they had um uh batman jason or sorry robin uh do you, you they actually voted whether or not he lived or died and that was the uh jason todd robin um uh, they did the mock-up for uh the book where robin lives um so this is the facsimile of the story as it, if he lived um i haven't actually taken a look through it um i'm going to check it out a little later but death in the family is such a key um batman book and it's one of those kind of top reads or at least the batman mythos uh that if you haven't read it i, I highly recommend reading death in the family um and then maybe checking out the facsimile that what that was not because of what we got out of everyone voting next up we have batman and robin number four um I'm, believe I'm caught up with this, um, but the Batman and Robin stuff. It's basically just an amalgam of kind of the 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 uh, stuff we, we can ex been expecting from Williamson. Um, I finished his Robin run, which was fine. It was a, very definitely a YA geared book, led straight into Bat or Batman versus Robin, um, which was okay. Um, so like a lot of stuff I'm getting caught up on, I'm like, oh, okay, I see these threads. Um, speaking of getting caught up on, I forgot to mention Shadow War. They did Geo Force dirty in that one. Mm -hmm. I mean, if he pops up in Suicide Squad, I won't be uh, so so disappointed. But yeah. Anyway, back to it. Another Batman title this week is Raphael Grandpa's Batman Gargoyle of Gotham. Um, this is issue two. First issue was okay. I, mean, I liked it enough. So yeah, it's good. Next up is a book that I was surprised by how much I enjoyed, uh, issue one, and that is the Batman Santa Claus Silent Night. This is issue two. This is going to be coming out basically every week. Uh, it's a four-issue miniseries that come, coming out every week for December. Uh, issue two is out this week. Next week will be three. Uh, and then, ooh, let's see, the week of Christmas? Yeah, the week of Christmas is when four should come out. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I actually enjoyed it. It was fun. So if you have not yet checked it out, check out Batman Santa Claus Silent Night. Next up, we have another one of the uncovered books from DC, and that's the Birds of Prey uncovered. Uh, so basically just a cover collection. Um, a couple of them had, have had kind of stories in them, or at least some words. Uh, I haven't read the Catwoman uncovered one yet, so I need to get that. It's actually on my pile, sitting back over here in the closet. Yeah. But yeah, we got that three. Last issue for Danger Street. This is Danger Street number 12. 
Uh, Danger Street's been okay. I'm not a huge fan of it. I, I think seeing different characters in the DC universe has been interesting. Off-brand characters have been interesting. Uh, Tom King definitely brings his, uh, you know, flair to it. But I don't really, like, there's some good stuff and there's some eh, stuff. So, but for the most part, it's been good. Next up is DC's Twas the Might Before Christmas, 80-page giant. This is the special. Uh, it's the holidays. You're going to get one of these suckers. So, let's now get this one up. Because, yeah, I'm a sucker for those. Next up is Detective Comics number 1079. Uh, this is Ram B's story. I need to get caught up to it. I am currently at the, I believe, Tower story or Shadow Tower, whatever that Shadow Tower of, I don't know. It's where Arkham is a tower in the middle of, of you know, Gotham City. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I am there. So I think it was around like the 1040s. So I got a, a bunch of titles to catch up on, but I had to pause for a second to go back and forth between some stuff, but I'm going to get caught up with Detective. Next up is The Infield Gang Massacre, issue five. Uh, I just read issue four last night. Uh, I like it. It's great. The comic stock on this is like an old comic book, so it, I love it. It's amazing. Um, yeah, if you like that Texas blood, definitely check it out. Next up, we have Green Lantern number six. I'm behind on Green Lantern, um, but I'm getting caught up on Adams' Flash run, which is really great. So I'm looking forward to his run on Green Lantern. I did read like the first issue or two and thought it was really good. So we'll see. Next up is a book that we didn't have any shelf copies for um, because I think it's just, I don't know, it's just the, 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 the universe was really hot and then it expanded, and but it shouldn't have expanded as much as it did. Um, and that is The House of Slaughter. This is book 20 uh, or issue 20, Alabaster part five. Um, yeah, I not the strongest in that, you know, something is killing the children universe. Um, we don't have any shelf copies for it. So that kind of says where it's at, at least at our store. Um, that doesn't mean necessarily mean it's bad, but I most people are not, you know, really keen on House of Slaughter. They still love something is killing the children. But I think the expansion of the universe didn't really work as well as people hoped. Oh, well. Next up, we have Outsiders number two. Uh, enjoy the first issue because it's Outsiders. And I'm a sucker for Batman and the Outsiders, or at least Outsiders. Uh, this one's run by Batwing. Uh, so, yeah. I'm, I'm down with it. So, yeah. So, we'll see where Outsiders takes us in issue two. Next up is a book I need to get caught up on. Um, I have a handful of issues to read, and that's Phantom Road, Jeff Lemire's Phantom Road with Gabrielle Hualta doing the artwork. Um, I like the premise. It's, a, it's good, but I need to get caught up with it. Next up, we have <clears throat> Star Wars High Republic Shadows of the Starlight, number three. This is by Charles Soule. Uh, I need to get caught up with my High Republic stuff. Um, I just need to read some Star Wars. And speaking of more Star Wars, we have Star Wars Hyperspace Stories, number 12. Woohoo! Yeah. Uh, celebrating 40 years of Return of the Dead. See the Battle of Endor as never before. So, filling in some gaps. But, we'll see. Next up, we have Titans Beast World, number 2. Uh, I read issue 1. Fun. The the one-shots that came out, I think, the, the Tour Metropolis and... Uh, what was the other one? Um, Waller. The Waller one. Waller Rising. I, I can't remember. Uh, they were okay. Um, DC's been doing this. It's a big, like, their events have had the main series and a bunch of, like, oversized one-shots, which I think works a little bit better than having a bunch of random minis. Um, but the one-shots still need to be good, so we'll see how that goes. Um, but Beast World, number two, or Titans Beast World 2 is out, so I'm looking forward to it. But we also get Titans Beast World Tour Gotham. So, let's see what happens. With apparently the bad family. And finally, on the <clears throat> regular sized comic books uh, read list is World's Finest Teen Titans, number six. Um, Wade's done a great job. I, I enjoyed the first couple issues. I just need to hunker down and read the rest of them. And I have put Batman and Superman World's Finest on my DC Infinite. So hopefully I'll get that caught up with that as well because I hear nothing but good things about that. Uh, next up on the stuff I brought home. Uh, Christian Ward's Batman City of Madness uh, issue two from Black Label came out, so it's a little bit oversized. The, this book and the next one are the oversized books. 
Um, I enjoyed the first issue, so we'll see where it issue two takes us. The next book from Black Label uh, is Waller vs. Wildstorm. This is the final issue. I believe it's book four, yes. Um, not the hugest fan of this run. Um, it's been okay, uh, but we'll see how it finishes. But, uh, yeah, not the best. Sometimes Black Label books just don't. Don't don't completely hit it for me. But we have variants now. First up, we have a variant, variant, a variant, a variant for Batman Santa Claus Silent Night, uh, issue two. Uh, Harley is asking Santa against his will um, for her list of things she wants, her wish list. So, see what, do you think she's going to get it? Uh, Birds of Prey Uncovered had a couple variants. Uh, decided to snag up, looks like mostly because Harley's on them. There's that one, and then there's this is the <clears throat> Nathan Sh Zerdy. Attached all the tattoos and stuff. We're just playing cover number one. Uh, Danger Street 12. Had a Starman variant there. Pick that one up. And, uh, Mitch Gerards did the it was, uh, DC's 12 The Might Before Christmas variant. So I had to snag that baby up. And Outsiders number two had a pretty cool variant by David Marquez. So I snagged that one up. And Gillian March did a, one, did a variant for. Titans Beast World Tour Gotham, where Harley Quinn is a yoked out bunny wrestler chick. It's disturbing as all hell. And I think that's the reason I got it. It's disturbing. But yeah. I picked it up. That's it for the variants. Like I told you, like there's a lot of comics I got this this week that were just read comics and stuff, but very few uh, variants. So, <clears throat> but yeah. And I did pick up one graphic novel, and it's a straight two graphic novel, so an OGN. Um, I don't know if there is a place car or a, you know, a, I forget what they're called. Uh, like, if they do an insert, like, signed insert cards, I don't know if we just didn't get them or if they're not doing them anymore. But Edward Brigger and Sean Phillips new one, Where the Body Was. Um, yeah, so it, it's Edward Brigger and Sean Phillips. It's great stuff. I'll read it eventually. Still need to get those deluxe criminals. Need to get those before they go poof. But, yep. That is it for this week. Um, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Your comments down in the comment section below. Let me know if you're picking up. If you have any questions, comments, all that fun stuff. Please keep it nice. The internet can be a cesspool of garbage, as, you know, it has been for the past few months. Seems like, or all the time, it seems like sometimes in the comic book industry. Uh, not that the people in there are, eh, it's the outliers. We all know what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah. So, um, you can listen to me on the Comics Conspiracy Podcast. We just finished recording, I think, episode 602. Uh, long, long, longish one. Um, but we, uh, talk, uh, at length, or we talk about a bunch of different stuff, especially the, um, which way is Batman facing in the infamous Dark Knight Returns cover is he facing forward is he facing backwards so there will be a link in the description below where you can go check out that uh you can help me and my fellow conspirators out through patreon at www.patreon.com slash comics conspiracy for as little as a dollar a month you help us with posting fees and getting products so thank you very much to all of our patreon backers it helps out immensely if you want to help me out a little more directly you can head over to my ebay page uh, i believe it's ebay user brock's basement uh you can see what I'm getting rid of, what I'm purging, all that fun stuff. Uh, since I've been getting caught up with a lot of my reading, I've been getting stuff cycled out. I got a, uh, like four things listed this past Sunday. Uh, but yeah, all my listings end on Sunday or at 3.30 Pacific time. And uh, yeah, that just seems to be the good rotation for me because if it's paid, I can get shipped out Monday. I get paid for it on Tuesday. So works for me. You know, I like it better when it's PayPal. Anyway. Uh, yeah, check it out, eBay page. You can also go to Amazon for any of the links I have attached here. There'll be a link for where the body was, of course. Um, and as well as the two uh, books that I really think people should check out this year. Uh, and that is the Wonder Woman Historia and Many Deaths of Layla Star. Both of those link to the hardcovers. The Layla Star one is the, uh, the deluxe edition. Uh, if you don't want the deluxe edition, you can simply click on another format if you want when you go to that page. But yeah. To those who click through those links and buy stuff, thank you. It helps out a little bit. And, uh, yeah. Um, pick up a copy of Meanwhile, Comic Book Anthology. 
Uh, there's a story by me in it with art by Lane Terasaki. Uh, we were featured on a top 10 or top 10 Kickstarter list uh, recently. So I put the description. Uh, um, I think I'll put the link in the description below again. Check that out. Uh, but there's still a ton of them available. Uh, the B cover is going to be going out or is going to be sold out, you know, first because we printed less of those. So if you want the B cover, I would highly recommend snagging it as soon as possible. Uh, you can follow me on social medias, um, Brock Sager at Blue Sky, as well as Twitter, uh, the hellscape that is that place. Uh, I'm on there a little bit more than Blue Sky just because I've been trying to promote the eBay page and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram at Brock's Basement, where I do couch shots of my favorite variant covers for the week. So if you're curious, head on over there to see what variants <laughs> I decided to prop them on the middle of my couch and take a picture of. Uh, so yeah, and that's pretty much it. Um, no Christmas shopping is done. None. I'm horrible at that. I, I'm honestly, I'm tired of Christmas. I know I, it's the worst thing for my kids, but I'm just tired of all of it. It's just so much. <sighs> but maybe one day I'll, I'll enjoy it again. Who knows? But I hope everyone has a happy holiday. Um, I should have a normal pod. I should have a, sorry, I should have a, we should, rec we'll be recording our last episode of the podcast um, this weekend. Um, and then um, that will be posted and then we off for two weeks for that. Um, I'll still be doing my pull list videos throughout um, the rest of the year. So those will still be coming, uh, still be uh, up. Uh, but um, yeah, there shouldn't be any delay in them. Uh, unless I just get super tired over the break because I'm not working at the other job. Oh, who knows? Man, these are all long-winded. People don't like long-winded videos anymore. Do you really even watch them? Who knows? I have a blue sky code if anyone wants it. The old video, don't count. Just comment in this one. If you don't comment right here, right here, in the YouTube comments, no blue sky for you. All right. I need to get this loaded. I'm tired. I'll see you guys next time.